friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Eva Diva for Eva, and welcome back to another segment of What Did Eva Splurge On Today? For today's video, we're going to be going over two months worth of hauling. Now, we already looked at the Christmas haul that was so yesterday. Today, we are looking at all the things that I have gotten between December and January. So, we're going to get right on into this. I'm going to show you the hot mess that is my Ipsy order. Now, the makeup that I did for the Ipsy orders is not this. So, without further ado, let's switch on over there now. All right, guys, welcome to my new setup here. At the vanity. It's a little bit of a different setup than normal. I have kind of my light in like this corner. Still getting used to the light settings on here. I think it's a little bit bright, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it here. It's better to be bright than before, because before, yeesh. So I'm just gonna get right into this. This was December's bag. Kind of goes in my shirt <laughs> a little bit, uh, but it is like a shimmery gold color, black back. This is January's bag. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little surprised about this one. Um, this one is very spring to me, so like maybe that's kind of like what they're going for. New year, new me, maybe? I don't know. So saying that, um, I'm going to start out by covering my favorite part of these packages, which are the masks. This was in December's package, three of these masks, and I actually have a video that I shot with my mom reviewing our thoughts on these masks. So how about let's see that right now. All right, guys, so I just got done with shooting a video earlier. Washed my face, put a strip on my nose to get my pores all cleaned out. I have three masks, Clarifying Peppermint Mocha, oh dear, and it's Detoxifying Lemon Sheet Mask and reduces inflammation and eliminates blackheads. And I have another one here, Joba Joba Oil Sheet Mask and repairs dry, crackled, those winter skin Blech. and I heard mom really wanted to do a mask too so I'm gonna have her pick out which one she wants to do I'm gonna have her join me all right so I'm here with my mama she wanted to be in this um little spa moment too so I'm gonna do the oh dear one which one are you gonna do mom I'll do the snowman snowman let it, let it let it glow okay so she's never used one of the sheet masks before so i'm gonna go over it with her and you guys are gonna get, like join me in with this little entertaining moment here okay so the instructions nice instructions in the back by the way so it makes it easy for like you or just starting out first one is cleanse and apply which and then we've already cleaned our faces we're gonna put it on the face so you're gonna open it but they smell good though this one smells good does your smell good mm -hmm. i was hoping that it would have like Aw, they'll have like little reindeer or stuff like that. They're like plain white ones. I know, I thought it'd be colored. Oh, come on, y'all. But it's okay. It's At least it smells good. I've had some that smell like chemically, so on the bright side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> She's putting right over your face like this. So how do you know? Oh, here we go. Ooh, <laughs> nice and slimy. I like to put it down my neck, too, because it's really good for your skin. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to look silly. It doesn't. It's not supposed to look beautiful. Now, are we? Do we have this right? I mean, <laughs> you see, what happens to this flap? There are nothing. No, I just feel it there. <laughs> I think that's there, like in case you want to close your eyes and put it over. But I don't do that. This is weird. I want to tell you, it's really <laughs> weird. And once we have it on, <laughs> I love you looking at me for. A model and once you do that we're gonna leave these on for 20 to 30 minutes or until it dries but I find I mean I usually keep mine on for like you know for the rest of the night or not rest of the night but like I, I keep mine you on for sleep like, with it no but like oh. <laughs> some of them I've had some that like are so relaxed and I fall asleep hmm. with them on uh, so then you get a chisel them off. No, they they peel right off. <laughs> All right. Wait your father sees me. He's not gonna know what's going on here. Well, we're gonna react. We're gonna record that reaction. We got a baby treatment tonight. Silence is having no word for me. How can I eat my popcorn? I got. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
nice and lemony. Mm. <laughs> so my final review on these masks is that uh, they did their job. They were very comfortable. Something that I found out that's not talked about on these packages is that you use both sides of the mask. I'm actually going to be using this after this video when I take off my makeup and I go to detox. Moving on. <laughs> A hubba hand cream. This is Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Oh, cool. A rich hand cream trenches your hands in velvety smoothness while marine and floral notes awaken your senses. Apply anytime. Approved for sensitive skin. That's awesome. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and that's going to be my first step. Put on the hand cream and then we'll see how it feels at the end of the video. Hand creams are always like an interesting journey for me. It's like a Wolchensky trait. We naturally have like very soft hands, very soft skin, uh, but that's the funny thing about like lotions. Like usually lotions um, are like too oily and whatnot and they are just way too much for us. This smells amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh, I can smell that like all the time. And my hands feel so soft. They don't feel too oily, they're not, it's not, I mean, it is just very soft, it's a little bit more velvety than like I normally would want in a hand cream, um, but a little too early to tell. So now we're going to go into the primer. I have a primer from VDL, Luminator Primer. Oh yeah, there's like a, a glow to it. A sister, come through, okay. Uh, usually with primer you don't need a lot, so I'm going to see how much this takes me. It's probably gonna be more than enough. Oh yeah, it's like iridescent. It smells good. It doesn't smell chemically or anything. It feels good. Okay. Doesn't do anything to my face. I think it's just for looks. But still fun. Okay. Something that I have realized about having new lighting is that it all comes with probably having to get new makeup because y'all, I look like a hot mess. <laughs> I used banana, my banana powder uh, that I got a while back and I think it's just way too yellow for my skin because guys, look, <laughs> it's a little too yellow, um, but we'll see once it gets uh, powdered off. Um, we're going to go into the next step which is going to be um, contouring uh, while I'm baking here. Again, we'll see how all that looks. This is the Luxie. Beauty 1010 Small Contour Brush. This contouring brush is so good for blending, contouring, and bronzing powders. This brush doesn't just contour, you can also use it to sweep highlighter or bronzer along the temples and cheekbones. Hmm, very cool. I'm gonna go on in with my Bare Minerals. Yeah, this does a really good job. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm in love with this brush. Uh, yeah, it's like the perfect type. Like, I never would have thought that, like, having it be so, you know, thick, it would be, but it is. I'm in love. I think it's awesome. Right there, under my chin. Oh, probably should have tapped. <laughs> Looks a little dark, but it's okay. We can blend that out later. Looks good. So far, so good. Uh, now it comes to the nose. See how good it does along the nose. Uh, don't really see anything. Hold <laughs> on, let me try it again. I had to say I did mess up on my nose doing stuff earlier, so could be just me. <laughs> Whoo! Look at that contour. Hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna go right here. Am I missing anywhere to contour? I don't even remember. It's been that long since I've done this kind of makeup, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna start brushing away the banana powder. Uh, is it just me? Does it literally look the same? <laughs> uh, yeah, especially in this lighting. As you guys may remember, this Tarte um, concealer, even though a lot of people rave about it, and when I use like other people's of this, it works really good, but for whatever reason, they gave me like the wrong color. This is like way too yellow <laughs> for me. I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, it's like way too dark. So if my makeup looks bad, I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna blame Ipsy for that. That's well, not going away. <gasps> I'm gonna be yellow. So I'm just looking in this mirror, like over here. Like the lighting, it doesn't look that bad, at least from here. But I'm looking over here, I look sick. <laughs> I look like a very sick person. 
Oh my gosh, I had a feeling not to use that banana powder, but I'm like, you know what? I haven't used it. Let me try using it. No, I look sick. Brush wise, Eva approved. Banana powder wise, I I I don't know. I don't know what to think about that one. Hopefully, uh, once I put on this mineral veil, it's gonna settle down my face. So I'm gonna do that right now. So just as a shout out to my girls with reddish skin tone, don't use banana powder. <clears throat> Try using more of a translucent powder because uh yeah, this stuff is caked on. I mean, it works. Huh. It works. So next on our list here, uh, I have a Liquid Mineral Strobe Multi-Use Highlighter uh, by Pacifica. The one thing I'm kind of nervous about this is, again, because I have powdered foundation, how is this going to work, a liquid with a powder? Yikes. But this looks really cool. Whoa. It's very similar to, like, the primer. It's, like, the same type of, it's, like, white. If you look really close, it has some shimmer to it. What an age, y'all. What an age to be living in right now. Now, this is a lot more whiter than, like, I normally would use for highlighter. Uh, normally, I stick to, like, my creams and whatnot. Um, so, we'll see how this looks. Okay. <laughs> now what? <laughs> okay. Maybe I just don't know how to use this. Is this normal? Uh, putting this over my eyebrows. It's like turning my thing like brown. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this here. Down my nose. Whoa. It's like really iridescent. I should probably should have read the directions first. The one time I'm questioning things, I'm not actually reading the directions. What's the directions? There's no directions. What? I... Okay. Let's see. Are you going to tell me directions? Do you have directions? This has no directions. I don't know how to use this. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to put some on my... I'm, like, I'm just going to keep putting it where I normally put it. I'm going to take my highlighting brush and I'm going to fix it. Oh, honey, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Did I just ruin my face? <laughs> um, this is not working. This is not working. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to try with my finger to like blend it in. But now it's taking my whole makeup off. Like, I get it that it's like, oh my, like what? What is this? I don't understand what this is. Oh no, y'all. I think it just ruined my look. Oh no. I'm going to try blend it. I don't know. Call 911! <laughs> like, it literally took, like, all the layers off my nose so you can, like, almost, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks so bad, but you can see it, like, brought it all the way down to, like, my actual skin color. <gasps> no, this is not good. I'm gonna try to fix this. And if I can't, you know what, it's whatever. But you know what, I think this would work better not with like actual makeup on. I feel like this is one of those things that are like, oh, like I'm out of the house, but I just got invited to this outing with my friends. What am I going to do? Oh, I have highlighter. Psh, whatever. I don't need to put on makeup first. I can just go boop, 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 and I'm good. I am going out and about with Joe tomorrow to do some shoe shopping. I'm going to put this on. And I'm going to see if for sure if this is going to work without a cover up. We'll see how that works. Okay guys, um, I'm back. <laughs> I just covered the, my face the best I could with my foundation. But I'm going to go into with highlighter right now. IBY 
uh, Radiant Glow Highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter um, out of all of them that I've gotten from Ipsy. My favorite highlighter in the world was the Unicorn Highlighter, but if you guys haven't heard already or follow me on Instagram, <laughs> my poor Unicorn Highlighter broke, y'all. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, that was a hot mess. I mean, like, but the problem that I have, like, if I had, like, directions, at least, like, if something told me in the directions, don't wear with powder makeup, or don't wear with liquid makeup, I've been like, oh, cool, I'll just do this, like, tomorrow, and, like, whatever, but instead, I, like, ruined my lurk. And I mean, with me, it doesn't really, like, really matter right now because all I'm doing is just like shooting a fun video with you guys. Like, this is totally like out of fun. Um, but like, what about the girls that like literally they slay for like two hours with their whole look, and then it does that to their face? Like, what the heck? Okay, whatever. Anyways, hashtag over it. Oh my gosh, this this makeup tutorial is kind of a hot mess, isn't it? You know what? Though I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Are you staying entertained? That's all I care about. Because next, y'all, we are going into some eyeshadow. And girl, do I have some tea for you today. If you haven't seen my Instagram when I posted this, guess what color eyeshadow I got back in December. That's right, y'all. Boom! Purple. This is, I'm not lying, the fourth, I'm pretty sure it's the fourth purple that I've gotten from Ipsy, y'all, when I found out that I was getting purple again after leaving nasty, I don't wanna say nasty reviews because I don't wanna sound like a terrible person, but I left some very stern reviews on the Ipsy. They always ask like, oh, you know, how did you like this product? And I'm like, well, it's purple, so I'm never gonna wear it. So thanks a lot for sending me purple. So what did they send me the next month? Purple. So, when I got this one, it was the last straw. I emailed Ipsy and said, y'all, what the heck? I don't like purple. I said in my description of what I want for eyeshadows, I, I gave that to you. And it didn't include purple. I gave you like browns. So what are you doing giving me purple? This is my fourth purple in a row. They're like, oh, well, we don't have control over that, ma'am. I'm so sorry. So you're telling me that your computer automatically sends me and everyone four purple eyeshadows in a row? Are you kidding me? Like I almost lost it. Like if I was talking to them face to face, it would have been pretty. And I hate to sound like that, but I mean like, come on. You know, am, am I crazy? Maybe if you're purple lovers out there, I mean this would be your heaven. But I do not want to be violet turned to a blueberry. <laughs> but at the end, they were very nice, and they're just like, "I'm very sorry for your service, and because of that, we are putting down a note for the next month that you do not get purple." And for January, they gave me this copper color right here from, from Naked Cosmetics, Heavy Metal. This is the picture that they showed off her in, like sister. I love it right on the corners. Um, so I'm gonna attempt this because I have the purple. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna I'm trying to be fair, you know, with everything that I get, and I'm trying to be grateful. So I'm gonna try to attempt the same look, uh, but with purple and this copper. I'm gonna do some swatches. This is the purple, okay? It's so dark. I hate this. Okay. Uh so this is the first one. It's kind of lilacing, so I'm not gonna hang on it too soon. It's not dark like we've seen in the past, uh, but we're gonna open up this copper color. Oh, I don't. Oh, what's going on? Oh, there's a, <laughs> a seal around it. Oh, oh, I'm living for this. Okay. Oh, please be pretty. Okay, I'm gonna take this. They're both kind of the same consistency, but that copper color, y'all. I'm I'm living for that. I'm trying to see. What kind of lurk I can pull off. And also, not only did I get those two eyeshadows, but they actually gave me an eyeshadow brush. Uh, this one's a blending brush. Uh, so we're gonna save that for later on. So we're gonna go on in first with the purple and see if it works with the brush. As we know, some eyeshadows work well and some don't. So let's see how this one 
Oh, it's a lot. Oh boy. I'm gonna take the blending brush and we'll try to blend that in there a little bit. Do not panic, Eva. Do not panic. Oh, we have that purple on. If you can see it. I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit now that we're doing eyes. All right, so we have the purple on. I'm gonna go on in with Mr. Copper over here. Okay, so we're gonna go out right here in the crease right here. Ooh, oh, sister. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be wearing like this eyeshadow like freaking all of the time. Like, I don't think like this is like a good look. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, this is completely like a hot mess like combination. Oh my, oh, oh, that was a lot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, let's fix, let's fix this. I kind of went a little bit too much. <laughs> too much in the copper if you didn't notice I was gonna fill <laughs> is what it is I don't know what's going on with my eyes I you know the worst part is I feel like it looks better on camera than it does in person because in person I look like I walked out of Walmart uh, I don't know if I should attempt to fix this I don't know what I should do uh, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna put some pixie magic on this that's right guys pixie dust always solves everything Oh yeah, see that fixed it a little bit. But then I really should be using that blending brush, shouldn't I? I'm gonna use the blending brush. I mean, I still look like a hot mess, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I look like I'm about to go on stage. So I'm in love with the copper. Purple's okay. Still not, I mean, it's still okay. By the way, I never said like the name of the purple one. The purple is bought from Cat Rice Cosmetic Luminous Lilac. Makes sense, lilac. Still not a favorite. Not a fan. But this copper, on the other hand, if I can like find a good color to put with, like I really like the army green color on my eyes. So if I can like take the copper and like put it with that, oh sister, I would look so good. So we're gonna keep going. I have two eyeliners. Why are these always so hard to say? It is Lima Sakwa. It is a coloring pencil in the color brown. This one here. It's from Stowaway Jet Black, and this one's like a crayon material, uh, which both are kind of like out of my comfort zone. I haven't like used both of these types of eyeliners in a long time. Usually I prefer like um, the marker material, like the liquid marker types. So let's see how it works. I'm going to do the crayon one first. This one's definitely good for like just filling in. I'm going to try to do underneath here. It's a little blotchy more my fault than the crayon's fault. This brings me back to like <laughs> middle school days. I'm gonna, you know what? Speaking of that, I'm gonna do this. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Reliving my scene days. Okay, kids. <laughs> Here's a little lesson. This is how all 2000 girls used to do their eyes. <laughs> Just like this. Oh. I'm shook. Okay, try to do the cat eye test. See if it can make a good cat eye. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I mean, it looks okay, uh, but it's not as easy to maneuver and fill in as like a liquid eyeliner would be. So that was the crayon. Now we're gonna use the pencil. So this one's very, very smooth. Holy cow. I mean, way smoother. Wow. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting it to go on that smoothly. Uh, I'm gonna go in underneath. This one doesn't really color my eyes as well as the black one. Okay, so when it comes to like the actual like, innards of my eye, this one doesn't really color that well. Uh, but actually goes on very, very well on the eyelid. I'm gonna do the cat eye test. Yeah, same thing. They're just not a very good cat eye. So if you are not really into cat eye, but you want a really good, uh, easy eyeliner, these two are great. Again, Stowaway in Jet Black and this Illuminous Illamasqua coloring pencil. Again, Siete, another product from them. Uh, this is their Glitter Flip lip gloss. I had to do a little bit of an investigating on this because I'm not a fan of lip gloss. Um, 
it just, I don't like how sticky it feels. But I found out that this is the lip gloss that you put it on and you rub it between your lips and then it turns glittery. And I don't know if this is the official one that was going around um, all over the internet, but I found out that's what this is. So I'm excited to use it uh, and see how it works. So I'm going to put it on right now. So I see a little bit of sparkle. Uh, there's no directions on here. Instructions? No? Cool. All I know is that you basically Oh Oh No <gasps> Sister This is officially my favorite thing I think I've gotten from these two bags. This is my favorite thing from this company. Their mascara is like the translucent powder, eh, but this is everything. What? Oh, okay. If you guys, I'm going to come up close. Look how shiny they are. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm living for this, y'all. <gasps> oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see this because this is everything. <sighs> Oh, this is my new favorite thing. I'm gonna wear this like all the time. So, Joe Bear Watcher, I wonder if it like, these, oh my gosh, like the, the glitter doesn't come off. So I could literally kiss Joe and like he wouldn't, he can't freak out cause he's not gonna get glitter on him. <gasps> this is the future. <laughs> this is so far my favorite thing in 2019, y'all. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is officially going in my to go back because that is like I need that in my life. So now that we've gone over everything, let me give you my brief overall say over everything. Um, between the two bags, um, there were some hits, some misses, um, some things that I'm like, ah, oh, not for me, but I suggest for other people, especially the purple. I am praying that I do not get another purple eyeshadow for a long time. I have, I have basically the whole a whole rainbow <laughs> of purple. I mean, the lotion did a really good job. I like the lotion a lot. I think my number one is definitely the lip gloss. So I don't think I'm gonna be wearing this look for the rest of the video. I'm just gonna wear everything off, put on my mask, and record the rest of another day. All right, folks, so it is next day. I am in front of my vanity, putting on my makeup, and as you can see, I've attempted to put on uh, the highlighter once again. I don't know, when I look in the mirror here, I look like I'm like in tribal mode. <laughs> um, like I'm just, I guess one thing I'm like, finding hard to understand is like how to blend it. I really don't want to use like my highlighting brush for this. I'm afraid I'm gonna like ruin it, but I'm gonna go on it anyways and attempt to blend it out. I was going to last night try to look it up online uh, to see if I can find anything. I couldn't really find much about this highlighting. I don't know guys. It looks like a bit much. Maybe it just needs to like settle in a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I put on too much. It's not... I don't know. I mean, I guess like the idea I can see originally being like a good idea, but the application I'm not in love with. <laughs> this is almost too much. Like I thought it being the white, I'm like, okay, like it's gonna be a new color for me. It might be perfect. No, it does not work out. This makes my face look so purple. Oh my gosh. My worst fear coming true. And I'm going out in public right now. So I don't, I just don't know how this would work. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to bring you guys with me. I'll keep working on this look and uh, you guys will see later how it works out. All right, so we just pulled up to the mall right now and uh, I'm recording it right now because I turned to Joe and what did you say? I, I said I, I saw something on her chin and I didn't know what it was. And then she looked at it and she was like, oh, it's highlighter. <laughs> You're like, what is that? <laughs> like, 
It was all blue. <laughs> Yeah, so it's illuminating highlight, but it's a liquid highlighter. When I put it on last night, like, it went through all of my makeup, all of my foundation, all of my contour, everything. It just went through it. And so I figured I would put it on my neck, like, my actual skin, because, like, as you know, I don't wear foundation on a normal basis. But you don't think it worked. You don't think the actual... No, no. No. It's bad. Oh, like, my gosh. You're... you're... <laughs> All this around your face looks like you put on a blue mask here. <laughs> well, you know what? It doesn't matter. You still love me though, right? Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are back. Um, I will say this is a couple days after I filmed that all that stuff and um, I will say that again I looked up how to do the Pacifica highlighter and it still says apply it either over your makeup or with a bare face obviously putting it on over the makeup did not work so uh, there's a little bit of trial and error that you might have to look into Pacifica sorry the next thing I didn't actually splurge on myself Joe actually spoiled me with it and I really wanted to show it off uh, but he got me these rose gold wireless headphones earbuds thingies uh, but he got them in rose gold he got a black pair for himself the other thing that Joe got me um, was if you follow my Instagram he got me this simply southern fleece jacket these things are the best I've been wanting one since last year when they like came out and we actually we're in Palmetto Moon. We're walking out from the store and I'm like, oh my gosh, I really love that. And I picked it up and I'm like, oh, it's so soft. And Joe's like, oh, try it on. So I did. And he's like, oh, that's so cute on you. Happy early anniversary. I'll get it for you. So yeah, he got me that along with a thousand other ways that he spoiled me. I'm just spoiled right. <laughs> so along with that, I also got some stuff from Torrid. I also want to show off the things that I got for work. So that means I'm going to give you guys a lookbook. So let the fashion show begin. So yeah guys, that's about it. That's everything that I've gotten between December and January. So question for you, my friends. What is the first thing that you splurged on in the new year? Leave those comments down below and I would love to look at them. Also make sure to like this video if it was your jam as well as share with all your friends who are really into some awesome haul videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to ring that bell for any notifications for any future videos on this channel. All right guys, that's all the time that I have for today. I'm actually gonna be getting ready to film a video about how to pack for your Disney trip. So stay tuned for that. But till next time guys, I will see you when I'm looking at you. All right, bye guys.